I wasn't the jock, amazing kid in PE at school. Proud to be a tradesman and uh, represent all the tradesmen on the team. My name is Mark Dry and I'm a Team GB hammer thrower, double Commonwealth medalist, and I'm also a scaffolder. My girlfriend's uh, dad runs, a, or their family run a scaffolding firm in the area, so I started out picking up a few extra days, uh, laboring and doing a few bits and bobs, and as work became a nightmare with the pandemic, I was lucky enough to be able to get a position there and spent the last three years scaffolding full-time for them. I got forced into an athletics competition essentially through the Air Cadets and uh, I'd never done athletics before. They asked me what I wanted to do. I said I didn't want to run and I didn't want to jump because I thought throwing was going to be the easiest and require the least effort. Represented at that competition, won unsuspectedly, all kicked off from there. If I make Birmingham, that will be my fourth Commonwealth Games. I made my first Commonwealth Games in Delhi in 2010. I missed out on the Olympics in 2012, which was uh, heartbreaking for me. It was nearly a deal breaker. I nearly finished my career, but finally made it in 2016, made it to the Olympics in Rio. In between that was the uh, that little moment of redemption where I never got never got to compete in front of my home crowd in, uh, in London in 2012. And then I had the opportunity to compete in front of my home crowd in, in Hamden in 2014. And I was uh, lucky enough to get bronze in 2014 at Hamden. So it was uh, obviously just an unreal experience. Then I had uh, two hip reconstructions, then made it back to the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games in 2018. Um, and then I came away with another bronze there. The balance is, is nearly impossible, especially now that I'm 34, I'm getting to the, uh, the older, older range of the spectrum um, as far as an athlete's career goes. Part and parcel of being a, a big physical bloke, I'm good at big physical jobs. I've been good on the tools for a while. I'm no stranger to, to lugging cheap materials and tube and fitting around. That takes its toll on your body. I'm exhausted at the end of the day. Trying to fit training in around it is, is very, very hard. Everyone's got to pay the mortgage. Everyone's got to eat. Everyone's got to look after their family. And, um, and I'm no different. I love it, yeah. Could not see myself being in an office or working a, a standard nine to five. I like being on site. I kind of do as much as I've been scaffolding for a while. I'm a bit of a general contractor and I do bits of chippy work and helping out with this and that, roofing, flooring all over the place. So I love learning new skills and I love challenging myself. So for me, it's been good doing a bit of multi-trade stuff. It's been good learning various trades and being on site with different trades. You know what I mean? Being on multi-sites with loads of guys tripping over each other or just being with scaffs on site, you know what I mean? But it's good banter, it's nice in the summer, you know what I mean? Nobody likes picking up wet frozen tube all winter, so. After everything I've been through and the hip replacement and everything else, I just think it's been a, such a mad couple of years and such a mad journey doing it whilst being on the tools and stuff. Realistically, you can't just magic the equivalent of full-time training and being fully funded out of work and full-time and training. So to even be in with a chance of fighting for a medal, I'm obviously hugely, hugely privileged and uh, happy to be touch wood healthy at the minute and uh, at least have the opportunity to fight for it.